a new report shows Retail investors who hold the largest share of municipal bonds pay roughly twice the spread that major institutional investors pay when trading recently issued debt. Bloomberg's Nick Carello joins us now. Nick, um, why is this? Why are they paying double what institutional investors pay? Yeah, it's a great question. I think um, data in the municipal bond market is pretty hard to come by and very difficult to parse through. So this report was really interesting to us. I think the simple explanation is that we don't know who's making these trades, but you know that, that researchers were able to use a proxy. Uh, any deal that was $100,000 or smaller, they assume uh, is a mom and pop buyer, or a retail buyer, and anything a million or larger was a you know a large institutional player like a like a, a bank or something. And the the most logical explanation is that they just have more pricing power. When you're placing a large order, you have a little bit more leverage to demand a more attractive yield. Is there a sense here, I mean, that this could change at all? Because we've seen a lot more retail participation uh, in this space in a way that we hadn't necessarily seen, I don't know, 10 or 15 years ago here. So at some point, I know that gap's not going to completely narrow. It never is for, for institutions versus retail. But it's got to narrow a bit, doesn't it, Nick? Uh, it's a good question. I think it could. You know, there was a lot of variety year over year. This is uh, measured over a five-year average. And... It makes sense that it would begin to narrow as we start to see more retails, uh, more retail buyers participating in the market. Uh, I think what was also interesting to me was just this idea that um, they only measured the trades in one week after they came to secondary markets. So they were measuring the spread between the primary offering and the very early stages of trading in the secondary. Uh, and that's because the muni market, um, you know, compared to many other fixed income markets, is very, very stale. It doesn't trade a lot. Uh, mm. Usually there's this kind of flurry activity right after the deal comes to market. And then in many cases, it just sits in someone's portfolio for years, if not decades. Right. And so they, they chose a pretty interesting window to, to choose to measure. So what are people in the industry saying about this? Is this problematic? And if so, how problematic is it? I don't think it's necessarily problematic. I think, um, you know, the, the underlying findings weren't totally surprising. I think the scale was a bit surprising. You know, it's very took a, a lot of kind of intense analytical power to understand just how big the difference was. They found that, you know, an average spread for a retail buyer was about $10 and an in institutional buyer was about $4.40. So I think the surprise was really the scale of the difference between those two, mm -hmm. especially because retail investors just make up such a massive part of the municipal bond market.